Welcome to episode six of our Expert Tips series for designing and ordering Dharmacon custom oligonucleotides. Once you've received your custom RNA or DNA, you'll want to know how to store it. We send oligos as dried down pellets. In this form, they are stable at room temperature for up to four weeks. Oftentimes, there will be a resuspension protocol with your oligo. Here's an example of what a basic resuspension protocol can look like. To start, you'll briefly centrifuge the tube to ensure the pellet is collected at the bottom of the tube. Next, you'll resuspend the oligo in a neutral RNase-free buffer. Pipette the solution up and down, avoiding the introduction of bubbles, and place on a shaker for 30 minutes at room temperature. Briefly centrifuge the tube again to collect the solution at the bottom. And now you're ready to verify the concentration using UV spectrophotometry. Here's a tip on that piece. Salt present in the buffers can affect the absorbance reading of RNA or DNA. For the most precise reading, dissolve in sterile RNAs free water for the UV analysis, and then adjust with additional concentrated buffer to your desired final concentration. After resuspension, the oligo can be used immediately or aliquoted into smaller volumes for storage. Aliquoting is recommended so that you limit the number of freeze-thaw cycles. We recommend the oligos not go through more than five freeze-thaw cycles per tube. We advise that the resuspended oligo can be stored at four degrees Celsius for up to six weeks. For longer term storage, the resuspended oligo can be stored at minus 20, minus 70, or minus 80 degrees Celsius, where they're typically stable for at least a year. For modified oligos, particularly those with fluorescent modifications, we recommend storage in a tube that blocks light to avoid bleaching effects. For advice on resuspension or storage of your specific oligo, contact our technical support team. We'll be glad to offer suggestions.